Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is something a little bit different than usual. Um, it's going to be a track style... Track style? No. Track walk style video. Uh, this is, if I can just find the name of it, 2021 Village Creek MX, made by Rock Chalice. This is literally my first time on the track. I've not ridden anywhere on it before. So I suppose we should just go through it bit by bit. I'll uh, run a lap, give my thoughts, and just see how the track goes really. I can already tell by the way that some of these jumps are faced that it's going to be a very good track for scrubbing. It's usually good where if you're downsiding jumps the first time round, the track makers put time into the scaling of it. Uh, sometimes you might get tracks in, and this is a real life track by what I've read on the, uh, on the post. Sometimes you get tracks that get converted from real life into a game and they, the sizing of them just doesn't work. So whether there's jumps that are too big or too small. But I'm not sure if he's upscaled this or if it is just a perfect fit for bikes. But it seems to be pretty good already. There's some corners that haven't got ruts on. But I'm sure once the road kicks in, uh, if this was online in a server, it would be absolutely fine. See, I've got my graphics settings quite high at the moment and some of these rollers I can't see properly so I don't know if that's a lighting thing in the game or if it's just where it's quite a dark uh, decal on the track. Also noticed that there is no map in the top right. Let me see if that's my end. Uh, let's do map. No, it does seem that there is no, there's no map at the moment. So let me move that back over for when and a track that it works on. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame, maybe that'll uh, be patched and updated in the future. Um, but yeah, so far, it looks like a pretty rapid track. Um, I think it would suit all bikes, it doesn't look too tight for a 450 like some tracks do. On the surface, bearing in mind I've probably only done about half a lap, it doesn't look like it's a hard track to learn either. a lap already. Okay, it's so quite a short track, um, but it does seem fun. Get it sideways on a lot of the jumps. Um, I will mention that I'm recording this ahead of time, so when you're watching this, this will probably have been recorded uh, maybe three or four days prior, um, only because I'm away this weekend with my girlfriend and I just want to stick to a video a day upload schedule. So I just thought of a few things that would be uh, quite easy to uh, bang out and get uploaded ready for you guys. Um, might have a video the day before this comes out, um, just a general ride and a chat with me. I won't go over too many of the same things here, but essentially it's just how pleased I am with how the channel is doing so far, and just the support and such has been absolutely amazing. Actually this is a very good flowing track so far, I'm enjoying this. I get stopped this rut. Or a little bit too much. Okay, so that's fine. It's nice to know that you can't just hold it pinned everywhere. You need to have some sort of uh, finesse and brain about you to get around. It's very difficult to spot that inside rut there through the shadows. One thing I am very open to doing, if this video is well received, running the talk-ins a bit sloppy at the moment where I'm still fairly new to it. Um, but in time that'll improve. I think this uh, could be a decent series to do long term, just a track walk maybe one a, one a week, one new track a week. I don't see any reason why there wouldn't be one good track released each week to review. I think it'd just be nice to fill in the gaps in between the, uh, the actual race and motos that get uploaded. Let's try and stay on the track there. That inside looks quite tough to get into as well, okay. There's some parts on here that you have to absolutely send, and then others you do need to check up for. But shout out to Rock Chalice, this does seem like a really fun track as well on the surface. And you'll probably find this is the sort of track that in the future will get added to some actual racing series as well. I've got later on today, I have uh, round five, no, that was the last race, round six, sorry of the uh, European Masters and the track just got announced and it's a raceway which is probably one of my favourite tracks on the game so I am looking forward to that. 
Um, that video will already be up by the time you're watching this. There'll be a, a live qualifying and two motos. So if you want to go back and watch those, please feel free to do so. Nice. There is a few line selections in that corner. So it's, it's very weird. Some corners are very flat, and then others you've got multiple lines in. Oh, that was my bad there. Trying to go too fast over bumps while turning never ends well. So I suppose um, with the series in whole, the idea was to kind of walk through the process and how I approach the tracks, but the thing with this one is it's just pretty flat out everywhere, there's not too much thinking involved. It's one of them tracks where you can just hop on and have a rip without having to think too much, which I know some people really enjoy I, I myself if I have if I just want to have a fun time playing. I don't want to go on like a supercross track for example where you have to try really hard and you have to think about everything that you're doing. But it's nice to come on and just throw some laps without having to think about anything. keep forgetting what part of the track's coming up next though, just because there's no map. But hopefully that will be fixed in the, in the coming weeks. I'll, uh, I think I'll leave a comment on, on the post actually just to suggest that the map be added. Um, I know there's, there's meant to be multiple tracks inside this track, but I'm just doing the main track at the moment. Um, I think he said there was a like, big white track and a circle track and there was one other as well which I can't remember. But I have only done, was it, three laps so far? And the road that gets left behind looks pretty deep, so I imagine a full-on moto on the track would end up getting a bit gnarly by the end of it. Oh, I almost went over there right there. Right, I need to make a mental note to uh, slow down that corner next time, because that's kind of three laps in a row that I've blown over the rut, and again. Right. I think I'll do one more wrap. wrap. One more lap, trying to absolutely send it, and uh, that will be me done for this video. Right, here we go, so let's try and set a burner. I've also noticed that I'm getting no times going on as well, so it could be an issue with the timing gates. So I'll have to ask that question on the forums. It might be a case of maybe I've uh, installed it wrong, so it's not working. Uh, or it could just be where there's so many tracks here, it just be that the whole thing is a free ride area, so it could mean that there's no time and gets full stop. Oh, I love the jump. What's a nibbit? Oh. Hold this on the inside. That's fine, and I don't think I can triple for any of these rollers, so I'm just going to try and double the way through, unless... Nope, all the way through. I need to check up a little bit for the inside at the bottom of this hill, so I don't go over it. There we go. And it's this next right-hander that I need to run the brakes for a bit earlier this time round. So, it's not breaking about here. Where is this rut? There it is. I might need to turn the... Uh, brightness on my mono up to be able to see that better. Side here as well, there we go, okay so yeah it pays to be a bit more patient in some parts of this track. There you go, overall I think this is a, a really enjoyable track. Um, get some friends online and in a server and you can just have fun tearing around throwing some whips. Uh, it's not too stressful, I think to learn really, you just hit everything as fast as you can, minus one or two turns. And you get jumps like this where you can just absolutely throw it sideways. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, thank you very much for watching. Very, very, very different to what I'm used to, and I'm still working on the whole commentating side of things. Uh, as someone that's never done this before, it can be quite the win. Uh, don't think at first just to try and talk to yourself for five to ten minutes straight. But I hope you've enjoyed it. There will be... What day is it today? I believe this video will be going up maybe uh, Sunday or Monday, so depending on what order I put them in, you'll get a full channel update where I talk all about what's expected in the future um, and yeah please keep an eye out for that but if you have likes please do like uh, feel free to subscribe as well I'm going to try and stick to one video every day 
and that'll be my goal for the next few months or so really uh, until I get the channel really to a point that I'm happy with. Uh, so thank you again and until next time, peace.